Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to the third and final video in this QuickBooks Online Bank Reconciliation series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reconcile that April statement. So in the last video, I showed you how to reconcile March using QuickBooks Online. This statement, we're now going to reconcile the April statement. So once again, go up to the top here, click on the gear and click on reconcile. If the layout of QuickBooks Online has changed, then please just find the gear icon or there might be a plus icon, but just find this reconciliation option and click on that. I want to reconcile the HSBC current account again, but there are options to reconcile other accounts but for most of you, it will be the main bank account you'll want to reconcile. And that's what I'm doing in these videos. So the beginning balance is 160, which is perfect because it's 160 opening balance for April, carried forward from the 160 close at the end of March. So that looks good. Ending balance for April, we're looking at 2250. 2250 and the ending date. So we want to end the reconciliation on start reconciling. Okay, we've got a few transactions here. We have 3rd of April, £150 payment to DEF stationery. So 3rd of April, here we go, 150 DEF stationery. Let's highlight that. We have another payment down here of £50 insurance, 25th of April. So 25th of April, here we go, insurance, £50. That looks good. Let's tick that. And then we have money received from ABC Computers on the 6th of April. Here we go. So let's highlight that one and ensure it's ticked on here. So there are a few transactions that aren't appearing on QuickBooks Online that need posting. We have a payment to SM Accounting, a payment received from Colin Parker, XYZ computers payment received a date of 1800 and then a bank charge on the 26th of five pound. So let's go ahead and enter them. So save the reconciliation for later because we'll come back to this and let's start at the top here. Payment to SM accounting of 165. So expenses, suppliers, here we go, 165 on the 13th of April. Save and close, 165, that all looks fine to me. Colin Parker, 18th, he paid 60 pound in. So invoicing Colin Parker. He's got no outstanding invoices. So it could be that there's been a discrepancy on his account or he paid that by mistake. 18th of April. So that will need investigating. So HSBC current account and it's £60. If I'm going too fast for you, then I suggest you watch my basic series, my QuickBooks Online basic series. I'll provide links at the end of this video how to access that. So that's been recorded. XYZ Computers, £1,800, 25th of April. XYZ, this is the one. £1,800 on the 25th. £1,800. And then a bank charge of £5 on the 26th. So 26th bank charge £5. HSBC current account, save and close. So once again, let's go back to the reconciliation by going to the gear up here, resume reconciliation, and let's tick off these last items. So SM accounting, 165, there we go. Colin Parker, money received 60, okay, looks good. XYZ, Computers, 1800, here we go. Bank charge of £5, which 
just down the bottom here. So you'll see that there's a difference of five pound. Once that's been allocated, you'll see it turns to zero and we can finish the reconciliation. Finishing the reconciliation isn't an option until it's set at zero. So that all looks fine. 2250 should be the closing balance, which is great. Statement ending 2250, clear balance 2250. Everything balances, so let's tick that off. Let's highlight that. Another month has been reconciled. Let's click finish and click done. And that's two months reconciled on QuickBooks Online. Now, if I've gone too quick for you, then please just rewatch the series. If you don't know the basics of QuickBooks Online, then just go to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Go to accounting software courses. Go down to free QuickBooks Online training. There's plenty of videos and a series here that will teach you the basics of QuickBooks Online. If you're interested in other bookkeeping and accounting videos and courses, there are plenty on my website. I've got over 200 videos. They're all for free. Just find the course you want, whether that's Sage, Zero, Cash Flow, a free bookkeeping course, a free business planning course, management accounts, payroll. It's all on my website and it's all for free. I really appreciate any support I can get. So please like this video, please share it, please subscribe if you haven't already. Please check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about QuickBooks Online, feel free to drop me an email at info at BPFS Bravo Popper Foxtrot Sierra hyphen online dot com. I do offer QuickBooks Online email support, which is here. So for only forty five pounds a year, about sixty dollars per year, you can ask me any questions about QuickBooks Online as many times as you want over a 12 month period by email and I will reply to you and provide the needed support. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you again in another video.